When the storms of life came crashing, he was there. When our hearts were heavy laden, he was there. To redeem my hearts from every brokenness. Mm. To the lost and departed, he was there. To the orphans and the helpless, he was there. So yeah, welcome to the Everlasting Light of Hope International Ministry in Jesus' name. Can you please tell us your name, your age, and where you're coming from? My name is Amos Dawa. I'm from Germany, and I'm 53 years old. Can you tell us the problem that brought you to the Everlasting Light of Hope International Ministry? I have so many challenges. I have uh, difficulties in Britain due to the heart population. Uh, and uh, using breathing machine is uh, difficulties in walking due to arthritis, using nail brace, and I have uh, high blood pressure, and uh, I had gastric, I had cholesterol. For how many years have you been having this problem? For three years, please. How have this problem of difficulty in breathing affected your daily activities? It has affected me in my working place. Sometimes I would take free. Sometimes I would just push myself to go and work, but it's not easy for me. It has not been well with me when I was, uh, for these three years. Difficulties in working, really difficulties in working. Uh, if I'm sleeping, in one hour, my breathing, my sleeping breathing will be ceased for 29 or 28 or 29 times an hour. So, if not because of by God's grace, I would have been be a dead person by now. So, this is the challenges I'm having. Okay, we can see some things on the table. Can you explain to us what are using them for? So this machine, the black machine, is uh, for for the sleeping machine that I was. I will do it like this. Then I will on it on the on the on the light, and that's how I'm sleeping every night. Okay, you mean that you can't sleep without this breathing machine? No. Okay, since I've been using this breathing machine, has it brought a permanent solution to your problem? No, no, not at all. It's even difficulties. I'm having difficulties of breathing inside, and it's not all that easy for me. I'm having so much challenges when I'm sleeping with this machine. And uh, the high blood pressure also, I have the machine. Hypertension, for the hypertension. But how do you use the machine? I use it like this. This is how I use it, and I started, and you will read now. Has this machine brought a permanent solution to your problem? No. No. There is no permanent solution on it. It's only getting higher and higher. You can see it. Okay, you can see some drawers on the table. Can you explain to us how you have been using those drawers? Yeah, these drugs, I've been using it to take it for my gastric. This is for the gastric. This is for the gastric. This is for high blood pressure, this is for high blood pressure, this is for high blood pressure, this is for gastric, this is for high blood pressure. Okay, have those drugs brought a permanent solution to your problem? No, no. Okay, you can see you're putting something on your knee. Can you tell us the name and what you're using it for? This is the knee brace. Uh, this is the knee brace, but uh, it doesn't help me. I just wear it like this. For three years, I've been using it. My leg, and it's heavy when I'm moving my leg and uh, there's no help. Has the knee brace brought a permanent solution to your problem? 
No, the the knee brace has not bring a permanent solution to my problem. Okay, where have you been to in search of a solution for this problem? I've been to several uh, doctors, several uh, hospitals, but there's no solution to it. Okay, now that's a uh, year, what do you believe that government is going to do for you? I believe Jehovah God will see me, will help me and have mercy upon me today. Okay, we we'll pray and believe with you that government is going to set you free from all this problem in Jesus' name. Amen. I have difficulties in working, please. Man of God, please help me. I have difficulties in breathing, and I have difficulties in working, and I'm using breathing this machine. Please help me, man of God. I'm using this breathing, I'm from Germany. My name is Amos Dawa. I'm from Germany, sir. Please, this is the machine that I'm using. I cannot sleep without this machine. And uh, this is the BP, uh, my hypertension, sir. And I have also arthritis. And I, my two children, too, also, they are not speaking. They are twins. I don't know what is happening, sir. Okay, you have difficulty in breathing due to heart palpitation? Yes. And you're using this breathing machine? Yes, sir. You can't do without it? Yes, sir. And you're also having knee brace because of arthritis? Yes, sir. Okay, and what, I do have, want, what do you want Jesus to do for and you? And I have cholesterol also. What do you want God to do for you? God to heal me, please. My okay, God, I pray that the son of David will help me. Son of David will help you? Yes. But remember the message today. Yes. You're not going to be healed because you're smart. Yes. You're not, going to, you're not going to be healed because you have suffered so much. Yes, sir. You're not going to be healed because the sickness has taken much money from you. Yes, sir. You are going to be healed to follow Christ in obedience. Yes, sir. Because it is better to receive and maintain than to receive and lose. Yes, sir. And the snatcher is Satan. You waiting? Yes, sir. Would you like to lose your healing to Satan? No. What would you do after this healing? I will follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the breath of life in your lungs, in your heart. Receive the breath of life. A new knee, a new heart. In Jesus' name. Rise, rise up. Come on. Go. Go. You're still Thank watching. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. You're still Thank watching Jesus. the prayer line of the everlasting lights of hope. Thank you, Jesus. Where many have come from far Thank to you, seek Jesus. the face of Thank God you, in prayer. <sighs> Remember, faith is a channel through which the anointing flows. I'm feeling okay. Nothing can work without your faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. So I welcome you. Please tell us what brought you to the Everlasting Light of Hope International Ministry today. Uh, I was having difficulties of uh, sleeping and difficulties of, yes, I was having difficulties of sleeping and difficulties of walking. And I have hypertension as it is. I was saw you that you were arranged at the prayer line section and you had an encounter with the Monaco Wise Mandani and he touched you. Tell us how are you feeling right now? I feel okay now. I'm feeling okay. I can breathe well now. So do those things you could not do before, now that you are healed? Yes, yes, I'm healed now. Thank what are those things you could not do before that you can do right now? I, I cannot move this leg like now, like I'm doing it now. You mean you cannot move your leg like this? No, no, no. I, I was not moving like this. Before. So now that you're moving your leg, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. <laughs> wow. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Our father is coming forward. Wow. The face looks different from what we saw on the screen. It's like uh, God has given you a new look. Good health brings a new look. Tell your neighbor, good health brings a new look. In Christ Jesus, of course. Yes. Okay, let's listen to the testimony. Hello, Huyen. Um, my name is Amos Dawa, I'm, and I'm from Germany, and the, the person beside me is my brother. Uh, man of God, please, can you 
Give us one second, please. Make we sing. Make you sing. Me too. I want to dance. Okay. <laughs> okay. O ban gijina gani nana zo sei kaji abuata kabani tema o ban gijina o ban gijina. Gani nana, gani nana zo se kaji adu ata kaba ni te ma ko ko na zo da zo nu pe daga shin kafina na sa. Nibaza kaki ni kawa kezu chata uban gigi na uban gigi uban gigi na gani gani na na zo se kaji adu ata kaba. Love for Jesus Christ once again. You, you may have your seats, and uh, to me, you may have given up, but for me, I will not give up. Uh -huh. So, give him the mic. Let me ask him a question. Because uh, I only hear. Oh, bangy, ah, 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 me too, I was, I was moving my hand. But well, please, for the sake of. Uh, Viewers all over the world, could you just interpret? I know it must be a very beautiful worship song. Interpret the, the weddings. Okay, what I mean, I know there's many people that hear house are here. Although I didn't sing, the, because the sing is very long, I just cut it short so that okay, you, you we'll have time. It, okay, what I'm saying, my Lord, I have come to you. Wow. Even I'm a sister, I know you help me. Clap for Jesus that Christ. That's the meaning of the song. Thank you very Clap much. Clap for Jesus Christ. And that's why God wants us to know the meaning. Because some of you that are not uh, speaking the language, to you maybe he's uh, speaking French. But you can see the meaning. Lord, I'm a sinner, but I know when I come to you, you will help me. And of course, God has helped him. Clap for Jesus Christ once again. Okay, now, the testimony proper. Um, my name is Amos Dawa, and I'm from Germany, like I said before. And I'm 53 years old. Um, I had a, a challenge since three years ago, and uh, the doctor, I have a picture here, please. I have a picture here where the, the doctors, uh, they find out that I was breathing 29, uh, 28 to 29 uh, times an hour, to uh, my, my breath will just cease in an hour. You can imagine if I will be alive today. So God Almighty keep me, still keep me alive. And uh, after the, the checkup of the, the many doctors' controls on me, not one, only one doctor, about five different doctors. So when they found out that I cannot sleep an hour for 20, uh, 28 to 29 times an hour, I have to 
get this machine. This is the machine that I used to sleep with. And without this machine, I cannot sleep. Maybe if I don't use this machine, I will just pass away. So God keep me alive. I got this machine. And uh, there was no support. And it's very difficult for me to breathe, breathe in with this machine as well. So I have high blood pressure also, uh, hypertension, and I have a knee uh, problem also. I have gastritis, and uh, uh, to be God the glory, I came to this ministry for the first time, uh, although I have so many testimony to give, because um, when I was going to Scorn, before Baba, late Baba, before he left us, and uh, I was a, a typical smoker before. And it was my Daniel come in a dream to me to deliver me. So when Jesus Christ came to your dream. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to my dream through was my Daniel, and he delivered me, even though he... he <laughs> Clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> even though what? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm Baba, sorry, sir. Baba, so, Baba is laughing. Say, <laughs> okay, you have, you have heard it all. Uh -huh. So, so that, this is why I have to come in so that you know that I don't disappear. It's Jesus that appeared. So that is it. Uh -huh. Continue. So the problem has affected my walking because I am a train driver. So uh, it affected me a lot. So I had some difficulties to go to work sometimes. And I have some problems also at home with my wife because if you cannot go and for work, the wife will not have something to eat at home at all. So um, uh, this nail brace that I'm using, it was like a, a, a bag of cement on my leg. I cannot walk well. So uh, for these three years, I've been struggling to survive these things that I was having. So now I give God the glory for delivering me. Clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, after God used the wise man to pray for you, I think that it happened last Sunday, right? Yes, yeah. yes, last uh, Sunday, please. What are the changes you have seen in your body? Now, as you can see, sir, I'm very different like, uh, compared to last Sunday. If you can check even my picture, how I was working. I was working like Maradona. Not really like Maradona, but I was, looking, I was working like... Uh, but now I work very straight. I don't need this thing again. Wow. I don't need it again. What about the breathing machine? A breath, I don't use the breathing machine again, sir. You breathe freely now? I breathe freely. <sighs> I breathe freely now. To God be the glory. Can you walk? Let's see you to confirm what you're saying. Let's see. Yeah, of course. Wow. You can see people running. <laughs> this is our. It will tell you that we serve a living God. Clap for Jesus Christ. What about those heap of drugs we can see there? Uh, I don't need these drugs again. By God's grace, I'm healed. And I have that belief, but by God's grace. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. And um, finally, before you go, what word of advice do you have for all who are listening to you? Um, uh, my advice to the viewer all over the globe is uh, when you have some challenges like I do have, uh, you submit it to God. You wait for the time when God wants you to come and deliver you. And uh, without God, you can't uh, do anything. Yes, without God, there's no freedom. Yes, there's Only no freedom. Only God can give you freedom. Yes, sir. Clap for Jesus Christ. And remember, you have reached Jesus Christ to receive your healing. Yes, sir. It's not enough to reach him to receive your healing. Yes, sir. To maintain the healing and maintain your salvation, you have to please him. Thank you, sir. By abstaining from those things that will not be pleasing to him if you indulge in them. Thank you, sir. Completely abstaining from sin, doing his will, there and then, you will be able to maintain yes, what sir. you have received. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Love for Jesus Christ. Thank you. You said you don't need it, the, what you have in your hand anymore. You are still holding it. What do you want to do with it? I don't need it, sir. I don't need it. I don't need it anymore. Yeah. So that what you say you don't need, you don't need to hold it again. Yes, I will just. Thank you. Yes, sir. And let's thank hear from you, your brother. Or oh, your brother has said it all. No, he has something also to say, please. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello, Hill. Mighty God lives in us. My name is Samson Benjamin. I live in Maraba, Karo, local government. This is my brother. Actually, he's the one that directed me to here when we were in the National Stadium. And me, myself, I get my own deliverance there. Clap for Jesus Christ. So actually, I talked to him to him to come back since ever that he told me this is the problem he's passing through because we are making a video call in Germany. So seriously, the thing was disturbing me, but I was giving him hope that if he came back to this place by the grace of God, it would be a story. And thank God Almighty, today is a story. Since last week, ev <laughs> since last Sunday, everything has changed by the grace of God. I believe all my God, everything, the healing, the perfect, will be perfect in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I want to see them after the service. Very important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. You heard it all? It's a, it's a new person. You can still meet him and interrogate him in case you still need to get more information as per whether he's healed or not. <laughs> You have the right to meet him and uh, get more facts from him. <laughs>